everyone, Melissa here. Today I'm going to be doing a uh, mini twin design with my good friend Fantasia Rosa. If you're not following her um, on Instagram, she's at Tasia Nailed It. I'll put that here. Um, but she picked out this design and the moment I saw it, I knew that I had to do it. Uh, not only because it is, um, it's neutral and it's, it's just very me, um, but also because I had just taken off this neon design and I really needed something uh, a little bit more grounded and just like relaxed. So <laughs> this was perfect. Uh, it's absolutely gorgeous, right up my alley, and I can't wait to do this set. Hers is absolutely stunning. So she used some Revel colors that I do not have, unfortunately. Um, so I'm going to be using some similar colors from Cascade Colorworks and uh, white um, Casper the Friendly Glowst from Double Dipped. So I have Dove and Rose Quartz from Cascade Colorworks that I'm gonna be using as my primary colors for this design. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my solid colors dipped down. I do have my builder gel on and two layers of peel base on the nail. They're all dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip the solids down. I'm gonna do um, Dove on these two rose quartz here and Casper the Friendly Glows will be the base color for the design that's on top. Okay, now I have all the colors on. Um, I did four dips of each of these and I only did three of these because I want to keep it a little bit thinner because I'm going to be adding more layers on it after I'm done filing. So I'm going to go ahead and activate everything and then file them. Okay, next, got these all um, filed and moved up. So I'm gonna start on the design that is going on these two nails. So I am going to start by putting a layer of dip base down on the nails, um, just because this first layer is going to dry very quickly due to the activator that's in the layers underneath. Okay, so now I have my uh, two colors that I was using, Dove and Rose Quartz, I have them opened up here with the caps because I'm going to be doing pour over with this. Um, I'm going to get some of my dip base um, on the brush and I'm going to, I don't want there to be too much on the brush, I don't want any puddling or pooling. Um, and I'm just going to come and do like a little swipe of liquid here and then pour over the top. And I'm going to do it again right over the same little piece I did. Just a little swipe kind of in the same area. Just to darken it. I'm going to come in with the purple, the uh, dove, and do the same thing, but going the other way, kind of on the other side of the nail, I'm going to cut like here, straight down the nail. Okay, now we're just going to dip some clear over the top of that. I'm going to activate and file these again to get those nails nice and smooth and ready for some drawing. Okay, I'm going to be using my uh, quarter millimeter micron liner for this. Okay. 
just gonna do some lines to do the leaf, the leaf design here, the leafy design. Okay, now I'm done drawing or done done drawing the vines. I'm gonna let them dry really well because I don't want them to smear when I'm putting on a top coat. Um, I am gonna be doing these with a matte top coat. Fantasia did hers with shiny, but I really wanted to see the design in matte on me, so I'm going to be doing matte top coat. Um, before I do the matte top coat, I will be doing a gel base coat just because I like to swipe and work with the matte top coat to get it nice and perfect and smooth and I don't want to do this over the design and risk smearing it so putting that just a quick base coat layer over the top first is not only going to help uh, keep the matte top coat from peeling off but it will also make sure that I don't end up smearing the design. All right, and here's the finished design, all matte and everything, and I am in love with this. It is, oh, just so beautiful. I'm, it's me. I love this design so much, so I appreciate Fantasia for um, bringing this to me for Nanny Twin. Don't forget to go check her version of this out. It is absolutely gorgeous. Um, as always, thank you for joining me. I appreciate all of you so much. Uh, join me next week. Of course, I will be doing my September um, birthstone series design. I'm excited about that. And um, I will see you next time.